two. This is a computing lesson all about Safer Internet Day. Now, Safer Internet Day this year is happening on Tuesday, but we're putting this homework out to last you the whole week. So there are a few different activities to do. You might want to do them all on one day. You might want to spread them out over a few days. There are some activities here that I want you to try and do with a grown up at home. So you might have to wait until they've got a bit of free time and they can help you with this and listen to the stories and read the stories and and things like that. That's fine. Don't rush it. Make sure you take your time and think carefully about this because it's a really important thing to learn about, especially at the moment, because we are using the Internet more and more and more. In fact, you are watching this lesson on the Internet. We're using it all the time at the moment. So it's really important that we know how to use it safely and responsibly. Let's have a look then um, at our lesson presentation. Here we go. So, yeah, as I said, um, everyone all around the country is learning about Safer Internet Day. Um, that includes us. So the first thing I want you to think about is what devices do you use to go online? What in your home or at school or wherever you go can you use to go online? You can pause the video here, have a chat with your grown up, maybe have a think about it. So we've got um, tablets, laptops, televisions, games consoles, even watches, phones, and of course, smart speakers. They can all get online and they can all find information or play games or watch videos or all sorts of different things. And in fact, that's the second thing I want you to think about. What do you like to do online? What is it you enjoy using your laptop for or a games console or a smart speaker or whatever it is you might have at home? What do you like to do online? Once again, pause the video here, have a think, maybe talk to a grown up about it. So we've got things like here, like playing games, watching videos, looking at pictures, maybe people that you know put pictures up online, talking to people online. That's what we're doing right now. I'm talking to you online. And um, we've got some different types of games. Maybe you listen to music, maybe you look for information. So lots and lots of things we can do online using the internet but a few questions here i want you to have a think about first who do you think owns the internet who's in charge of the internet who do you think decides what can be put on online who makes sure that the things on the internet are truthful and real so no one owns the internet no one decides who can put things on it. The internet can be used by everyone and everyone can add things to it. Now, trust means that you can count on someone, that you know they are telling the truth. Hopefully you can trust your family, your friends, but can you trust everything and everyone on the internet? Once again, I want you to pause here and have a think or maybe speak to a grown up about this. Can you trust everything on the internet? Can you trust everyone on the internet? Pause there, have a think, have a discussion. So have a think about these situations and have a think about what you would do if this happened. So what if a stranger came to you on the street? They talked to you and they asked you to go with them because they had something really good to show you. Would you go with them? What about if a stranger said something nasty or mean to you? What would you do then? What if you saw a stranger being mean or nasty to somebody else? What would you do? Now, it's really important that we think about the Internet in similar ways that we think about real life when we're outside dealing with real people. Um, and there are some important things to remember when you are online. So. Just like in the real world, the internet has nice and nasty people using it, unfortunately. Not everyone um, is going to be kind. There might be people who want to help you, and there might be people that want to trick you or be nasty, but you can't see who is using the internet, and it can be hard to tell who's nice and who isn't. Because, of course, when we read something that someone's written or we see a picture that someone's put up, we can't actually see the person. We don't know who they are or what they're like. 
So here's some things about staying safe when we use the internet. So remember, anyone can use and add things to the internet, which means we can't always trust what we see on it. So if you're going on YouTube or anything like that, you don't know who's actually making uh, the things that you can see. So just be sensible and be careful about what you're reading or watching or listening to. You can't always trust that people who want to talk to us on the internet are nice. You don't know who's there. If they've got a picture of a child, it doesn't mean that they are a child. You don't know what they really look like. And you can't always trust websites on the internet either. Some might have viruses that might stop your computer from working, or they might try and trick you into spending money or maybe more money than you think you were. So how can we use the internet for all these fun things, but still stay safe? Well, here's some ideas. So try and use websites that you know can be trusted. Well, how do you know? Well, one way is to ask an adult. You should try and use websites that are for children as much as possible. You should never give out personal details on the internet. That's things like your name or your address or where you go to school because you don't know who you're really talking to when you're chatting online. You don't know who can see that. So you should never tell anyone your name or where you live or where you go to school or any personal information if you don't know who you are talking to. And again, you should never arrange to meet online friends because you don't know who they are in real life. And you should be kind and respectful to everyone online, just like you would be in real life. Think about those examples earlier. You wouldn't go up to a stranger and say something horrible to them. So you wouldn't do that online either. Remember, if you're not sure about anything, anything at all, you should go straight away to tell a grown up. So if you're at home, that should be a grown up in your family. If you're at school, it should be your teacher or another trusted grown up that you know. If you see something that upsets you online, tell a grown up. If you see something you're not sure about, tell a grown up. Don't just try and see what happens. Tell a grown up. If something is making you feel upset, or unsure or a bit nervous on the computer or on a tablet or on a games console or on television or anywhere that uses the internet, stop and tell a grown up straight away. That is really, really important. Right, let's have a look now at what I want you to do next. So there are two pages for this activity. Now, like I said, you've got all week to do this. So don't rush through and try and get this finished really quickly. You can take your time might take you a couple of days. That's not a problem. Um, there's two pages. First one, draw and label three things that you enjoy doing online. Because when we think about Safer Internet Day, we really want to think about the good things about the internet and going online. There's lots of fun you can have. So maybe you enjoy watching videos about a particular thing. Maybe you enjoy a particular game online. Maybe you like to speak to your family or your friends um, on Zoom or on Teams or uh, on WhatsApp. I don't know. So you can draw pictures and label them to say what you like doing online using the internet. And then the second page is about using the internet safely and responsibly. So I want you to write five rules. Now you might want to look at the rules we just talked about earlier on, or you might want to come up with your own. So how can you stay safe when you how can you stay safe when you're using the internet? And how can you make it safe for other people? So think about looking after yourself. Think about the grown ups in your life that can help you. And think about what you need to do when you are using the Internet to make it a nice place for everyone. Now, as I said, this might take a couple of days. You might not be able to do this very quickly. That's absolutely fine. Take your time. There are three stories as well that I want you to have a look at. And I want you to try and have a look at them with a grown up. Now they're all about a little duck called Digi Duck. And he is starting to use the internet as well. And he starts to think about how he can stay safe and how he can stay responsible um, when he's using the internet. So I want you to have a look at those stories. Now on the uh, YouTube for year two, um, I will put up some videos of me reading those stories. So you can watch those. Or I will put on the homework tab the stories so you can read them yourself. But what I really want you to do is to have a look at those with a grown up at home. 
So again, you might have to wait until they've got a bit of time uh, to do that with you. Maybe you could read the story to them. Maybe they could read the story to you. Maybe you could both watch me read the story together. It doesn't matter. But I want you to look at those stories and think about what lesson is DigiDuck learning in each uh, story. So once again, just to whiz through how to stay safe ooh, on the internet. A bit bigger. So unused websites that you can trust. If you're not sure, speaking to a grown up is really, really important. Try and use websites that are for children as much as possible. If you're not sure, ask a grown up. If you're at school, ask a school grown up. If you're at home, ask a home grown up. Never give out any personal details online. That's your name. That's your address. That's where you go to school. That's how old you are. Don't tell anyone any of those things online. Never arrange to meet someone when you don't know who they are. Remember, just because someone's writing online that they're someone, it doesn't mean they are necessarily who they say they are. So make sure you're being sensible about who you trust and always be kind and respectful to everyone online. Don't write rude things. Don't write mean things. Don't write nasty things. Just like you wouldn't in real life. And if anything, anything at all upsets you or confuses you or makes you feel a bit nervous, tell a grown-up straight away. That is the most important thing you can learn today. Remember that. Right. Uh, as I said, there are stories to watch, there are stories to listen to, there are stories to read as well to go with Safer Internet Day. So have a look at those as well. Once you've done your posters and your rules, as always, send them to us um, on eSchools. We'd love to see them. Some of the best ones, if they've got really lovely pictures or really sensible rules, we might share with the rest of the class because it's always good to share our good ideas. Right. Enjoy that. And I will see you all very soon. Bye bye.